Vesper's Hose releases this Friday, and we might finally know what it involves. New hints have been found involving Europa and the Deepstone Crypt, also the possible return of an Exo thought to be lost. Welcome Guardians, let's take a look. Episode Revenant releases tomorrow in the dungeon this upcoming Friday. There's not much to do until then unless you're grinding away in-game for your season pass and seasonal engrams. Here's what's disappearing by tomorrow, though. So while we wait for the new episode, I thought it'd be fun to speculate further on the dungeon. Previously, we discussed the possible connections to the A113 Cositis space station and its gates located around the reef. These were Golden Age experiments and vessels that contained keyholes that Crota would later take over and use to move his forces through different parts of our system. And since Crota's death, the Nine have began to experiment with them, trying to make physical bodies for themselves. You can find that video, but today we have a different fun theory that fuels a couple of possible threats. Maybe Cositis, maybe the Vex Forge Star. Before we jump in, I want to mention that this may somehow contain spoilers if any of it is true. So if you like to wait a few days for the dungeon, here's your warning for that. And this is also speculation and for fun, not straight up fact, yet at least. So what fueled the theory here is I came across a post from Starblaster GC on Reddit who made an interesting connection. During the Bungie livestream last week for Revenant, they showed us the Bungie rewards available for the new dungeon, a hoodie and a bracelet. Starblaster notes the bracelet reminded them of a particular fallen Exo in Atrax 1. What do you think? You may think, eh, that seems like a stretch. Well, the jacket also contains parts of the logo seen on the raid badge for the Deep Stone Crypt. So if this isn't Atrax at all, there's a connection to Clovis Bray and the Crypt itself. So that begs the question, again, where is this portal? And also, is Clovis Bray and his technology or company involved? Maybe just Atrax 1? If we take a look back at This Week in Destiny from May 2nd of this year, Bungie gave us more intel on Atrax from the Pantheon boss mode. Intel Exos are humanoid machines that house a living mind. Atrax 1 obtained this technology from a Braytex station orbiting Europa. Atrax's mind commands multiple copies of her exoframe. Before converting her form, Atrax acted as counsel to Aramis, Kel of House Salvation, for many years. Atrax was entrusted with command of the Deep Stone Crypt. She was destroyed by the Guardian fire team that brought the Morningstar down from orbit. Atrax 1 created multiple copies of herself to deceive foes. Fire teams encountering this tactic in the future are advised to locate the original target and focus a simultaneous strike. Atrax was at one time seen as a voice of reason, an orator able to speak to the hearts of the Elixni youth in House Salvation. Of note, the Hidden have relayed rumors that a copy of Atrax 1's mind still exists, stored somewhere on Europa. This has yet to be verified. At least two of the initial six fire team members that destroyed Atrax 1 believe they destroyed a clone and that the real Atrax 1 still lives. This is under investigation. Atrax 1 was known to prefer synthetic lubricant when undergoing maintenance. These lore drops from Into the Light actually had some influence over recent story elements in the game. We learned how the Witness created his disciples and factions from blueprints of characters like Rock and how those may have formed the Dread. We learned more about the Caretaker's connection to Worms and the Hive. 
And now that Atrax-1 may have survived, either we killed the clone much like we see in gameplay, or that a mine backup still exists in the crypt itself, which is likely true. Just in the final shape, we learn that Micah 10 went back to Europa and was able to find out information from her past life before she was even a guardian. Why couldn't someone else do the same thing for the fallen Exo? Never told anyone this, but I knew Kate before he was a guardian, before I was a guardian. We were both on Europa before the collapse. I found out about it after the Braytech facilities on Europa were unearthed. I know Guardians aren't supposed to go digging into their past, but I did. I found my Exomind archive. I found myself. So if it's true, what's the goal? To once again use the crypt to create a fallen Exo army? To revive Atrax as a leader for the remnants of House Salvation now that Aramis is out of the picture. Atrax. Critus and I can handle this. Return to the crypt and prepare the body. Vesper's host is the name, so could something want control of Atrax or to use her as a puppet? Maybe she is the host for whatever Vesper is. Europa has connections to the crypt and Atrax, but the image we see is clearly of something different. It could be Cositis, it could be somewhere around the Forge Star 2082 Volantis, or something else entirely. But it would be interesting if it was somehow all connected. Destiny fans have been asking for a reason to further explore the Deepstone Crypt. The actual crypt itself, what we played and fought through in Beyond Light was nothing compared to what actually exists in the rest of the crypt. Some have also asked to enter the Glassway portal and glimpse the hypergiant in the Vex Forge system. There's many routes that could be taken. The quest is called Rogue Network, which definitely seems Vex involved, but we get the quest from the Spider, which for me leans more toward an Elixney issue. We did just have a Vex-themed episode and conductor who controlled Vex. Maya was able to control beings and this Echo and Radiolaria was a big part of that. Radiolaria exists in our system now, but Clovis Bray originally would harvest it from Volantis to merge with Darkness and create the Exos in the first place. Maybe the image on the bracelet is not Atrax at all. Maybe this is the Forge Star with Vex architecture surrounding it. Stories in this game are what inspire me to make these videos. Oh my god, a giant cool looking darkness vex gate? Where does it lead? Be sure to leave your theories in the comments down below. Anyway, Guardians, if you'd like to see some more Destiny lore, speculation, and mysteries like this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.